I don't really know how to feel about Jim Jam. This is a Popeye cartoon from 1950. It's directed by Izzy Sparber and Thomas Johnson. It's written by Carl Mayer and Jack Mercer, with a voice cast including Jackson Beck as Bluto, Jack Mercer as Popeye and Mick Questel as Olive Oil. And what I will say is that this would never be released today. They would never create this today because, honestly, it represents a pretty sensitive topic for some people. And this is because Popeye has a gym and he has a ladies' day where only females are allowed at the gym and he's training olive oil and it's a nice start. The animation's pretty good. It's nice to see olive oil working out at the gym and Popeye helping her and it seems pretty innocent, pretty straightforward. And then Bluto decides to dress up as a woman and I will say the animation of his face is terrible. He looks like he has this tiny pinhead. It's not very well done at all. And he dresses up as a woman to get access to the gym on Ladies' Day to, I guess, ogle and try and woo, to want for a better word, olive oil. And this is such a partly sensitive but also important topic today because obviously there are a lot of opposing opinions about whether trans women should have access to women's only spaces and obviously this was released in 1950 that's not what it's addressing but this would never be released today because i feel like it would just be far too controversial because what we he see here is a man dressing as a woman to get access to women only spaces to treat that woman in a way that's less than respectful and I guess in the 50s, this could have been quite funny to see Bluto dressed like this. The outfit choice is very interesting. <laughs> um, definitely an, an interesting outfit choice. More, the outfit's fine. It's more so the face and the hair that I find quite quite an interesting choice. And then, obviously, the big question is, will people believe that he's a woman? Will he get away with it? And will he get to do anything that he wants to to olive oil? I won't answer those just in case you decide to watch it. I won't spoil it. But I feel like the story they were trying to show, that this person, Pluto, was dressing as a woman to treat a real woman negatively and, I guess, objectifying her, is... Very well done if that's the message they were trying to give, that it would be unacceptable for Bluto to do this. But obviously today it's going to hit differently for some people, depending on where their beliefs are. So it's definitely an interesting one. The animation quality is very good, aside from Bluto's head. He just does look like he has a, a pinhead on a lot of occasions. It's quite peculiar. But the rest of it, it was fine. The pacing was fine. The narrative they were trying to deliver, I thought, was very well done. But that narrative won't sit right with some people. But I also think that that would be reading too much into it because that's not what they were doing. They were not trying to create some important trans rights story in the 50s. That's absolutely not what's going on here. But I do think some people would choose to read into it that way. So it's not going to be one that everybody enjoys. And I personally, I'm kind of indifferent to it. I thought it was okay. I thought with what they set out to do. I thought they did a decent job with it. But at the same time, I do think today it's going to be a little bit awkward. Animation quality, apart from Bluto's head, absolutely no problem. The pacing, very good. So it ticks enough boxes that I'd say I'd recommend it. But I think some people are not going to like it. And some people might really like it. So I think it's going to be quite divisive. But in general, Jim Jam is an okay Popeye cartoon. I don't personally love it, but I don't hate it. But I feel like it's one, unusually for a Popeye cartoon, I feel like it's one where there might be a lot of strong opinions either way. I don't have a strong opinion either way. I guess I think it's an okay film, but not maybe not the most interesting in terms of the at the time. Nowadays, I'd say it's probably quite interesting. For the right or wrong reasons, I don't know. I'd love to know what you think of it. Personally, I thought it was fine apart from Bluto's Pinhead. And if it sounds like one that might appeal to you, or if you want to check it out to see what you think, I'd definitely love to know what you think of it.